Two road turnovers, you see his face on the screen, Jalen Brunson. Tim Cato, The Athletic. What is the, what do you see on the box score today? Um, bunch of numbers. Dollar signs? No, just a bunch of numbers. <laughs> You had the first uh, forty-point game with no turnovers. You guys had three turnovers as a as a team. What's what's the obvious importance of just maintaining as many possessions as possible? Yeah, um, that was a big emphasis that was set after the game. Uh, we had great ball movement in the second half, with uh, I think zero turnovers in the second half. Um, I mean, we we're just we we're out there playing, you know, just together, and everything was. Um, kind of flew in and um, obviously the ball is going in for me, but I, I wouldn't be able to do that without my teammates, man. They they gave me a lot of confidence and um, um, that's, it's a credit to them and the coaching staff. I just personally, but I mean, as a team, we just kept fighting, we stood together. Whenever they made runs, you know, we just stayed calm and um, we just kept our focus. How much do the dynamics on the court, the like spacing dynamics on the court change when Maxi started hitting threes and pulling their team out and then once you guys beat your defender, you know, just breaking them into rotations? Yeah, we were um yeah, we were just able to make the right play. Uh we were um making um a lot of open looks tonight. Uh a little different from game one. But um yeah, when Maxi's hitting it's um he's he's on fire. He was a eight for eleven. Jesus. Um Twenty-five, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's big time for him. I'm happy for him. Dwayne Price of Mavs.com, uh, uh, Jalen, when when Maxi got it going like that, what difference does this make with his team? It's big time um, when he's able to you know, stretch the floor like that, and um, the defense has uh, decisions to make. And um, yeah, yeah, he was eight for eleven, but he's also a guy who's willing to make that extra pass. And um, he's, uh, it's, I'm happy for him. Um, just the way he played tonight, and um, just incredible. When you guys have a game like that, how do you pack this bag and your luggage and take it to Utah with you? Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm already trying to forget about it. Um, this is great, and, um, but um, I mean, long way to go. And um, this is a great win for us, something we can build off of. But um, we have a a lot of room for improvement, things that we can clean up and uh, things we can do better. And um, we just got to stay the course. Jalen, can you remember the last time in your career on any level you had a game quite like this? Um, over high school or anything like that? Like this in the playoffs? Oh, no, I'm talking in general. Regu I, any, any kind of game like this, 41 I'll, or anything like that? I'll say I had... Uh, in high school, I had 56 in the semifinal, and um, it felt similar. I'll say that. Felt similar. How much does your mindset change in terms of attacking and looking for your own shot when Luke is out, and then when you come out like you did? You know, how much does that fuel that aggression? I mean, I was that mentality and approach stays the same. I know I say that a lot, but um, it really does. Uh, I'm just playing how the defense uh, was you know, giving me, um, just seeing how they were defending certain things and um, just stepping in confidently in the certain shots. And um, I think I started, was it, five for five maybe? So, um, I mean, yeah, the five for five start is great, but I mean, I had the same mentality when I was 0 for five last game or whatever, something like that. So, um, mentality is, is, stays the same. You can't, you can't fluctuate whenever. You know, even when he's in or out, um, because you need guys to make plays. You know, he has a lot on his shoulders, and so um, we need guys to get in the paint, make plays, and uh, just kind of, you know, take the extra pressure off of him. Uh, Jalen, uh, Brad Townsend, Dallas Morning News. Uh, how much you know Luca as well as anybody on the team? How much do you feel like he's chomping at the bit to? to get, be part of this. And then also, is there a sense among the team or you personally that you guys have bought uh, some time to get him into the series? Um, I know he's, uh, like I, I said this um, a while ago, I don't know when, but he's a competitor. He obviously wants to be out there. So um, yeah, I know he's dying to get out there soon. Um, but uh, I mean, he's he's gotta take his time. And um, I know he's, um, going to do everything in his power to not let his team down. Uh, but he has to 
make a decision that's best for him. I don't, I'm not necessarily knowing where he is, um, but I just know that he's a competitor. He wants to be out there, but uh, we're, we're trying to hold it down for him. Kevin, go ahead. Sorry, team. Kevin, go ahead. Kevin Gray, 105 to the fan. Jalen, you scored 11 of the first 14 points tonight for the Mavs. Can you take me inside the anatomy of a heat check three? Because you hit three three pointers in a row, and that last one continued to get the momentum going. What goes into uh, deciding to take that heat check three uh, in a game like this? Um, I mean, I just I saw. I think it was Donovan. He backed up a little bit, and um. I kind of had a rhythm you know, going into that shot and um, just took my time and shot it. I just, I saw him back up a little bit and that kind of gave me the green light to shoot it. And um, it went in, so that's what, that's what I saw. Luke, last one. Uh, Luke asked you, Matt, morning ball. Uh, Jalen, after game one, uh, I asked you what positives you could take from the offensive side of the floor um, to bring into game two. And you mentioned taking better shots, being more efficient, uh, that you were going to go back, watch some film, be a student of the game, and learn from that game one. I'm um, wondering if there was anything you saw while watching film or what you learned in between games that helped you prepare for the game you had tonight? Um, I think most importantly, um, I think in game one, I missed a lot of shots that I normally make. Um, so I wasn't trying to go away from that necessarily. Um, I think the biggest takeover from game one was just kind of just staying with it, staying patient, and um, just playing my game. I, I, I didn't have to change too much besides just slowing down and just concentrating a little more and um, just continuing to play hard for as long as I was out there. Right, Jalen Brunson now. Here is Donovan Mitchell. Um, starts on the ball, I think. Um, it's all stuff we can fix. You know, I think it starts on the ball. You got to keep guys in front. You know, obviously they play it too. You know, Mike having fouls. You know, you don't want to foul. Don't want to do all that. But same thing.